gotta hear the TNT. Uh, we bout to ball and we gotta hear the TNT. Uh, but if you know T, then you gotta know TNT. Uh, but if you know T, then you gotta know TNT. Uh, we know it all and we gotta hear the TNT. Uh, we bout to ball and we gotta hear the TNT. Uh, but if you know T, then you gotta know TNT. Uh, but if you know T, then you gotta know T. inside my head that could come out of my head and into your head one is this bottle of water uh let's say somehow or another you get caught without your gear on one of them times where there's no water there may come a time where there ain't no water you know what i'm saying no running water or the water is compromised now, you have ways of like bleach and other things you can add to water. Let's say you don't have that. Let's say all you have is, which this is a perfect size. Let me. All right. This is how you want to start with it, too. All right. And off it goes. Static. Uh oh. Alright, if you didn't have anything in this bottle and you had a nice source of clean water like a like a little puddle, not a puddle that the car's been rolling in and all that stuff. You take a big shot if you wanna drink some of that. But you know like you out there and you like see this a little puddle of rainwater. What you could do is you could take a bottle like this, up to two liters. But this size is the best because it's quicker. Don't go past two liters now. You can take a bottle like this, get you some of that water. And you can... You can actually hang this over fire. To, you know, to a certain point to where it's going to not melt it, but still get it to like almost a boil. But, in that same process... Man, this bottle here is full. I've never opened it. Look at that. Get your money rip out of that one. Uh, that same process, you getting what you call leaching. Because these bottles are made up of crap. That's why you're never supposed to reuse a water bottle. When you get through drinking that, you throw that away. Unless it came down to a certain time when you need it. When you need it, absolutely need it. That's when you take this and use it over. But if any other day, do not use a water bottle over it. Just buy a bottle. Just buy a bottle. And you can boil it like that. Ten minutes, y'all, is a good good, good measure of boiling. Ten minutes. That Boiling is your best out. But if you don't want to do it that way, Find a whole bunch of rocks and stones that can fit into this top, that can fit inside. You put those over your fire for 30 minutes. Let them get hot. 30 minutes in your fire. Start dropping them into your bottle to get hot and boiling. Just keep doing that for 10 minutes. Let that get a good boil for 10 minutes. The water ain't going to be good. But it's going to be good for you. Because you'll need it. you die without water. Alright. Now. Another way. Of doing this is. If you scoop that water up. Put it in here. And you got a long. Trick ahead of you. Like I said it's the best size. Up to two liters. Don't go past two liters. It'll take a while. You can tie something on here, put it on your backpack, hit the trail. The UV rays of the sun will go inside and kill the bacteria in the water. 
at least six hours, y'all. Try to be at least six hours. At the least. I mean, I would rather go further, but at least six hours, you you have a fighting chance. But a day is good. A good day. If you got an overcast day, two days is good. Now, the better way you can collect some of this water is you got to get up in the morning dew. You you get up and you take like your shirt. I mean, this is this task where you don't have anything, y'all. Nothing. You got to get up when it's morning dew on the ground. And you just get to walking through the dewy grass. Take your shirt off or something. Cause it's gonna get hot that day. It'll be needed to be wet. Take your shirt off, drag it along the grass with you. It's gonna pick up dew into that shirt. You take that shirt and you wring it. And you take whatever you need and you wring it. All the dewy water until it fill up your bottle. Then you go on with that process of. I mean, you wouldn't have to do that process if you don't want to. But I would recommend it because. In a time where you needing water, and you go thinking that, well, I'm going to just drink out of a stream. Uh, that was back in the old days, y'all, when you could actually do that because people nowadays are actually soft. Any little thing will get you messed up. Back in the day, they could drink out of a stream and make it. Just like some of you can't go to Mexico and drink the water, you get sick. Some people can't go to Florida and drink the water, but you'll get sick. It's different ways of purified in certain places and different toxins that those natives are used to and you ain't used to so uh if you can just like find your one fill it up ride with it all day not ride but you know what i'm saying just i'm taking it along with you take it along with you Take it along with you. And just don't just trust any water source. Like I, like I was just saying a while ago, if you, especially like you in a stream, you don't want to go downstream. You want to drink upstream if possible. Because you never know what's upstream up there. It's supposed to rock, supposed to purify and all that stuff. You don't know what's up there, y'all. It could be a dead carcass that been sitting up there for days upon days and it then rotted and it fell over in the water. Now you got all those organisms and everything coming down there with you. Pieces of dead animal, all that. You think, oh, I need some water. No, no. You don't want it. I mean, even if, I mean, even people think that you buy an ocean, you can drink that water, you will still be in trouble drinking that water. Trouble. So. This is what happened. If you was to drink tainted water and you already dehydrated, you finna get the bubble guts. It's finna come out both ends. More liquid, more dehydrated you gonna be. And you're gonna have a quick death. So you don't want no iffy water. It's just like food poisoning. You know, you in trouble. Like I said, do not drink ocean water. It ain't good for you. This process I was telling you about uh, with the sun, that's the last option. Because that sun, ultraviolet rays, will go in and kill some stuff, but some of the stuff that's into like certain spore states and certain uh, parasites, it don't damage them enough or kill them. And you ingest it. It's coming all back out of you even more so that's a tip number one for you right there go to TNT kitchen and find yourself some nice recipes while you still can